I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Mm. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. <laughs> I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. <laughs> so thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can. Um, the poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. Idiot. You mean I can keep it? Yuri mm. nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles, as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice down there. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah, don't worry. I think you do a good job. Mm. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Don't worry about old man Monica. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure we will. What'd you say? <laughs> I heard that, you whippersnapper! With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Who should I show it to Did next? Did you put it in your butt pocket? You see, when I program surveys, I don't allow questions like this to happen. <laughs> Just saying, this is my career coming out now. I would Just make it, I would make Just this an auto. It. I would make it an auto select. An auto. An auto. Hey, hey. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on. I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, Forever? Of and course. Always, you'll never leave? <laughs> of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, loser, loser. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? Uh, no, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> all right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You go play with everyone else now like a good boy. You insist. Yay, squiggles. I'm going to go home a little bit early today and... Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. I didn't even read her poem. Nah, okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second! Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Wabble lab ding dong. Yes. <laughs> Wabble lab dub. The grass tastes bad. <laughs> I say that all the time. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that someone, something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. Sigh! <laughs> <laughs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time when she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. 
First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. <laughs> it is a clearly defined friend zone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've defined this myself for years. <laughs> <laughs> that curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier. Everything is fine. What'd she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Y Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Sit alone and read books? <laughs> guys! Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... Uh... I'm useless. No, 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 that's not it at all. So far, the only thing we're doing is making cupcakes, so. <laughs> You're the most talented person here, you know. <laughs> now Natsuki's pouting, too. Jeez, uh, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ma! That may be the case. But if I can't also be the leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about the... I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. <clears throat> <clears throat> Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, loser loser. I'm gonna do nothing. The one who's truly useless. Ah! Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. Mm-hmm. I would really, really appreciate that. Ah, uh -huh. that's, uh... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Get the out of my way. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, we have a thing and you're really bumping into it right now. We had this clearly defined. <laughs> <laughs> we built this up. You've watched. Have you not read his poems? <laughs> they are not directed to you! <laughs> Apologies, folks. Let us continue. Loser Loser may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assist with decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making, making excuses for Loser Loser to- Well, what, what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. We can all share, loser, loser. <laughs> hey, there's plenty of me to go around. <laughs> Gross. In the end, I think it's up to loser, loser to decide how he'd like to contribute. I want Besides... To he hasn't really gotten a ch the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. <laughs> so I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying no. Jeez! Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Loser, loser. You're okay with this ride. In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> 
Very well. In that case, everyone, everyone looks straight oh. at me. Of course I'm going with. I feel like I should say Sayori. I mean, they're definitely leaning that way. But if we go with Yuri, it might be some shoulder touching. Or Monica, <laughs> because we've literally been given zero chances to do anything with her the whole game. It's true. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, Basically, any of them except for Natsuki. Yes. I am good with any choice. We've already made a reference to, not, to Sayori that we kind of wanted to walk home with with Yuri, so maybe it'd be good if we go and check on Sayori. It's not how... All right, go ahead. Do you want to just go with Yuri, or are we just going to go full bore, like... No, not necessarily. Do what you think's right, Michael. I don't know what's right. You're playing this game with me. You are also me. We are two, but we are one. All right, go go check on your, your hot mess friend. I mean... If it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her! Jeez! Do you really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. I... Oh, okay, I can't. Yuri? Either her or Monica. Like I said, we've been given zero... Like, you can't choose any poetry that, like, leans towards Monica. You can choose poetry that leads towards Sayori, Yuri, so this or would, Natsuki. This would be the meta. I'm pretty sure this is like meta chick. Monica is like some sort of, I don't know. So far, she has been truly like the old wise leader to us. Yes! And has like told us secrety things and talked about saving games and stuff. So this would be like the meta choice. This is like choosing a romantic interest of sorts. So what path are we trying to take here? Yuri, I guess. Let's go with Yuri. We may we may do follow up episodes where we actually take a different path or something, but we'll see. So we'll go with Yuri for now. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Oopsies! I just unplugged my headphones. I can't hear anything. <laughs> oh man, I rolled them up in the chair. Here. This is the worst. Hang on. <laughs> oh! No, you gotta keep going. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Why would you? Natsuki! I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No! I was just saying! Ugh. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, loser loser. Yeah. <laughs> That's, what gonna, That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I'd be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? <laughs> well, excited may not be the right word. Aroused, I think, is the better word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Do you feel the same way, loser loser? I mean, I'm pretty excited. Me? Yeah, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. That's just vague enough to work. <laughs> what about you, Natsuki? No! Good, you learned to shut the hell up. <laughs> yes. Here, oh. let's, let's, sorry, th this cable stuff is being a real pain in the butt. All right. All right, back to it. Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I don't, I didn't even do anything. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh, uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Loser Loser picked me. It may be because we've been having a budding relationship growing <laughs> slowly. <laughs> and also, uh, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. 
they go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. Kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I uh, know. I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki Real isn't the only bad. one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Mm. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um. Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I, I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. You have carrier pigeon? Oh, you're right. I can't believe that that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Hot. I mean, what? My house? Is that a problem? No, not, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason and make sure my parents aren't home. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room's clean and my parents aren't home. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, loser, loser. I think that we'll all make a very productive, productive team. team. I mean, productive team. <laughs> Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. Ba -ba -ba. Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. <laughs> Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh, I, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. I want that's you, all I mean I want to. There, that's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I. Yuri thinks really hard again. <laughs> <laughs> she looks straight into my eyes for a long while and takes a steaming dump on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Do you have any toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. Next time, uh, you did, you did. That's no ordinary pocket knife. Looks really fancy. Uh, it's my sacrificial dagger! I mean, it's a, it's a butter knife that I took from the kitchen. <laughs>